I had to get my sweet tukas to Pebble Beach. But I needed to sort out my putting, so I made a stop in Palm Springs for a round with Adam. He is a putting god, and I need his help. We played Tarquid's golf course. We teed off two minutes after the exact tee time. We have plausible deniability, and can say we gave the other two randoms time to arrive. That was a bouse level move. What a good shot. Did you see it land? Yeah. See, it's down grander. Now, then I'm worried about a pitching wedge going far enough. I've noticed a rule here. There is someone driving through my shot making background noise 100% of the time. It's like the universe does it. They just spawn like it's have a video to, game. Have to. Could be good. Is that good? Good swing. I mean, now I've got that thing in my head. Like, is it turning right to left or is it going away from the mountains? This is ram it in and don't give up the hole, right? Good idea. No, not like that, Matthew. Jeez, if I could putt, I'd be a freaking plus handicap. I'd be... Oh, right now. It was going left the other day, now it's going right. Okay, we've got 162. 162, this is not looking great for me, <laughs> to be honest. So what are you doing? Hitting an 8-iron here? I think so, but I mean, the ball's above the feet. And I've got this crap in front of me. So it's gonna, it should hook, but maybe I have to try hit a fader. It's gonna be low though, so I think 8 is gonna be okay. If I hit a 7, I'll probably hit the trees. Or maybe just start it at the pin, let it draw to the left side or pull to the left side. Like that, but that's not good. Oh! Did it hit them? Car path bounce. Hard left into the desert. Did. Good line. Okay. So one, three, no, one, two, three. Yeah. 137 is the back of the green, so I can't go, I'm not going to go 50 degree and chop it short into that little bunker. So we're going to take a, a small pitching wedge, small pitching wedge, at least hold the green. Nice shot. That's a worker, young man. Players, today we're at Tequit Golf Course. It's, I'm not quite sure what the meaning of that is. I believe it's uh, Italian, Tequit, and I think it means mountainous. And I was practicing putting with him because he's a putter, putting maestro. And what he found is that I just don't take enough time. Don't go look around the hole. Don't really commit to a line properly. So today I'm gonna try to do that and look around a bit more. And this is clearly a left to rider. It's just that how much does it break? Of course. Ah, yeah. It's not Gee, a joke. I'm whisk. averaging 33 putts per round in America because my brain cannot wrap my head around so little break in the greens. Inside eight feet, especially, and also on longer putts, the ball doesn't die toward the hole like a Bermuda green. My biggest fear is a 95 at Pebble. I need to straighten this out. The sad truth is I grew up on beautiful bent grass in South Africa. I never played Bermuda growing up. Now, after restarting golf in Thailand and having to learn putting from zero again, Bermuda is my preferred grass on the greens. On shorter putts, I can't convince my brain to aim inside the hole. On green speeds over 10, I prefer the Cleveland Classic putter, which I forgot in Thailand. Yeah. Oh, that may be the worst drive I've hit in recent memory. <laughs> I have to make the Evan roll work. I have no choice. Let's see how I do. 
and then Adam will teach me how to read a green properly afterward with a very nice lesson. Ah, I can't get it. That's all right, I think it should be fine. Then I'll just hit the six iron right of that bunker. Nice shot. 141 playing 144 at Tequitzi. Tequitzi. This is a Tequitzi Italian, right? Oh, yeah. Italian golf course. What does it mean? It means uh, goddess of the valley. Okay, 144 pitching wedge, little off the right, little draw ski in there ski. Dude, since being in California, all I do is this now. <laughs> and I'm like, cowbunga, dude, cowbunga. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, that man, I, I don't know. I think I need to start using my body to swing a golf club and not my arms. That was embarrassing. Yeah, that wasn't your best. That wasn't my best at all. I'm feeling very Jeb Bush today, bro. Jeb Bush? Yeah, low energy. <laughs> Please clap. Please clap. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. Looking at this putt at. Which angle? Well, right here, because, okay, this ball's coming off this slope, but I get a way better idea of this slope from here than just standing back there and being like, oh, okay, I don't know, it's a foot. Like, now I'm, like, really seeing the slope of this. So th what I'm getting at is this putt, I'm going to play way more break having looked at it from there than I probably would have otherwise. Okay. So how much are you going then? Still kind of working that out. Yeah, because I have to putt into it, I gotta play a lot. So I'm playing like four cups here. Four cups left? Yeah. Is that more than you initially thought? Yeah, and it, it, I might be overreading it, but so now I'm looking at where four cups is. Okay. Okay, am I aligned to that? Good putt. What a reader, what a reader. Now, how much would you say you've missed that by? Is that a cup or half a cup? <laughs> right between those numbers. Okay. Like that. Closer to a cup, though. Okay, yeah, because I, uh, I always like to see how people see the, the perception. Like that was like this much, right? Yeah, Whereas yeah. a cup is like that much. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I mean, I see mine right to left, but now it's so confusing because yours was left to right. Yeah, yeah, I see only left to right in yours. Good putt. Really good up and down. What a shot. I don't know, oh, that was it, huge. Is that around the slope? Yeah, it's on the slope to the right of that bunker. Boy, you pounded that. Yeah, that was better. That was better. Okay, so 105. Let's do a little 56er. I wonder if it'll move off this slope. Probably not. You don't think so? I don't think so, because I just, I come over the top a little bit, so. Okay. That wind is a little with us. Not the hardest 56 of all time, down grain. Let's go. Get in the hole. No, that's, that's delicious. That's delicious. What a shot. That's down grain, so a couple more yards with the wind, a couple more yards. Top of the backswing going. Okay, that's too much power. Power down, power down. Oh man, he can putt. Oh. Gee, whiskers. Oh, didn't see you right there, bro. <laughs> Gee, whiskers, jolly hockey sticks. Now you see the problem is, you, you were assessing the putt. I walk around the entire hole and I start thinking about what I'm going to eat for lunch. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, well, that was a waste of my last two minutes. So what do you see in yours? Right to left. No. But not much. It's not right to left. Is it left to right? Yeah. Oh my God. You see. But it's like, I wouldn't give up the hole. It's like center left of the cup. Gee, whiskers. What a reader, man. Right, I would have missed that. What a birdie. I would have gone right and righter. <laughs> and then gone like, God, I suck. 
I just can't really agree. You know, the biggest thing I've changed in my golf since starting again a few years ago is to get rid of superstitions and shit. Like yeah. I would never have stuff in my right pocket. I've never carried anything in my back pocket. Now I don't care. That took like, that took a while to get over though. Okay, come on, let's get a draw. Let's get a draw going. Woo! What a shot. That's you. <laughs> Gotta get some energy up, dude. I've been too low energy. If I hit a two iron from 240, I can do it, but it has to be perfect. Like, so perfect, perfect I would assume. Like, if I hit the three wood, I can still hit a soft one and get almost there, or try hit a fader, but I'm generally not just gonna, like, like just, like, chunk it 100 yards. So I think, are you thinking about wind off the right here or not even thinking about it? No, I don't really feel the wind there. I think I'm just gonna choke, choke down and just go for it. You see, now I've done the exact thing I said I won't do with a three wood. I chunked it. <laughs> see, that's why I can't hit these partial shots. Okay, 116. 116 in a divot, oh, man. 116 in a divot. In a divot, what a player. 116 yards. Well, I guess it has to be a pitching wedge then. If I hit a 50 degree in there, disaster. But maybe not, huh? <laughs> maybe not with that with this slope. No, I'll teeth it into the tree. Pitching wedge better. You see? Hallelujah. If I do a 50 degree, the same thing happens. So we're okay, come on now. 61 yards. After 240 into the green. <laughs> on the second. That looks good. Nice shot. Nice shot. God damn it. That's a tap in ski. You never give up on the good times. Always be the love you share. Yeah, I think this is the one we got to get the course guide. I think this is the one he told me that if you were a bomber, you could hit it in the water here. I'm getting bomber with a driver then. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 you're fine. Because I'm, I'm hitting a two iron. Yeah. I, I mean, I hope that's fine. Now you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit it super soft. And cock it up, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna hit it like a beast. Yeah. Straight at the left hand corner of that hut. Best shot of the day. Perfect. If I could hit the exact same shot with a driver, I would be thrilled. You can. See, like. Ah, little left, but good. Yankee Doodle. It's on the green. Uh, Dude, I can't see anything. I can see left to right. Yeah, I agree. Is How that much? correct? Like a cup. A cup? <laughs> uh, you know what? Now that I look at it here, it's more. It's uphill though. So you're saying more because, oh, because you're looking at that slope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got a bit more than a cup. Okay, I see what you mean now. It's quite high up there, right? Yeah. I have it like... Let's give it a go. The best part about this is that whatever you tell me, yeah. it's, it's guaranteed to be better than what I have. Well, you went outside of that and it might be it. Get in, baby. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I was gonna go a cup. I would have ended up here. Yeah, well you ended up playing it like, two. I told you to play it two cups and you played it like three and a half and you were right. <laughs> How did it not go in? It's yeah, hanging over know. the edge. <laughs> 
Wow, that's eye-opening, bro. Dude, this one looks like big lifts, right? Yeah, especially because like this slope is like downhill. Yeah. So my read is right, it's quite far left, eh? Yeah, how far are you playing it? Same as the last hole, maybe even more. Was that too much? I mean, yeah, you, you, put, you put them more at like die speed than I do. Yeah. Like in my mind, it's three cups, but you, the way you played it might be like four. Okay. No, I've just completely chunked that. Oh yeah. my God. It's okay. Complete chunk of Rooney. So this one's funky, right? Because there's that slope behind the hole. Like it's still going left to right, I think. Ooh, let's see. But you can just ram it. Wow. Well, so this one's going this way. The other way. Mine. The opposite direction. Yeah, because this slope. Sorry, go ahead if you're ready. I'm going like right edge. Okay. I wouldn't have seen that. She's you right too, huh? Yeah. Not there, man. Oh, Just I got it. Hit it too hard from the... I think I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna go 58 like what we practiced. Ooh, with the little flopper? Almost. Not flopper, but yeah. Almost. Well, that's not really the best shot, is it? But I feel it might like be, because like now that I look at this green, there's a lot of slope on this green, and it's better to put it farther onto the green. I think so. I think I'm gonna land it a couple feet from the hole. Yeah. What a result. Immediate. What a day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey. 69er.